What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma if you're new here and I'd love to talk about all things Peloton cycling and fitness. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post every single Sunday and I am so excited to be making this video. Definitely a little different than my normal content, but I have been influenced and fell into the hype and ordered a Ninja Creamy and I am so, so excited to open this. I just got it and I figured it'd be fun to make a video of like me opening it, trying some recipes and giving you my thoughts. This has been blowing up my TikTok like crazy. I thought I was getting a lot of recipes and then I ordered one and started like really looking for more recipes and now 80% of my TikTok are recipes for the Ninja Creamy. So we'll see if I think it lives up to the hype. I am very, very excited though. I really hope it does. It's also been out of stock everywhere for so long. I've been checking like every single morning, just Googling Ninja Creamy and seeing if it's in stock anywhere. I finally got this one directly from the Ninja website and it is the NC100, which I believe is like the most basic cheap model that doesn't have like a bunch of different blend modes. I think there's only five on this one when you can get like fancier ones that have more. But I think this is all I'm going to need. My main goal is ice cream. I love ice cream. I eat Halo Top and I would love plant protein ice cream. My biggest gripe with Halo Top is that it's whey protein. So we'll see if we can make some good plant protein recipes. I'm just so excited. All right, let's open her up. <laughs> We gotta love a box inside of another box. And for those of you who don't know what an Asian Creamy is, don't know how you missed the hype, I feel like it's very targeted, especially towards me. I like see this every single day. But you essentially fill a container of liquid and then you freeze it for 24 hours. And then this is just like a really, really intense blender essentially that then blends it and it can make ice cream at home. I don't think that the like original branding of this was to make like protein ice cream or like healthy or lower calorie ice cream, but all the Ninja Creamy stuff I see is like low calorie, which is mostly what I'm going to focus on, although I'm not like against full calorie ice cream. I'm just mostly excited for like plant protein ice cream. Got some directions. Okay, let's see. We got bowl number one, bowl number two, the actual machine itself. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is wash out these two containers because we got to make our mixtures and freeze them for 24 hours before I can even use this machine. I have now washed the containers and dried them and we're ready to come up with our first recipes. So these recipes are definitely going to be very basic at the beginning and then I figure like after I taste it, then maybe I'll know what to do next. I kind of want to see if I can like perfect the base before doing like crazy mix-ins and stuff, but I'm still very excited. I'm going to do one vanilla and one chocolate because Chris does not like chocolate and I want him to be able to try it. So he'll try the vanilla one with me. So first we'll start with vanilla. I have this Fairlife milk, which everybody uses. And they use it because it's not a lot of calories, 80 calories per cup, but 13 grams of protein, which is like crazy for milk. I don't even know how they make this, but I'd rather have it be plant protein, but I think compared to normal milk, like this should be fine. I've drank this before and haven't had breakouts, which is like my most concerned thing about whey protein. Whey protein breaks me out really badly, so I think that this should be fine. I did want to try it because everyone else uses this milk. So they have a fill line that's actually very, very close to the top. I don't know if I'm going to fill it up that much because we also need to put some other things in here. Oh wait, actually the max fill line is here. So okay, I think that's a good amount of milk. And then I thought it would also be fun to add for our like sweet flavor, the Orgain Organic 
cookies and cream protein powder. I do really like this protein powder. It's very, very sweet, so I think it should be good for ice cream. And I know Chris likes cookies and cream too. And I'm just gonna do one serving of that in the ice cream, which is two scoops that come with the Orgain protein powder. And then the last ingredient I'm gonna use is white chocolate sugar-free jello. And I think people use this to help with like consistency, to make it not be icy. Pretty much every single recipe I see uses sugar-free jello. I wish I had vanilla, but I could not find it at the grocery store. So I ordered it off of Amazon and it's coming, but I cannot wait that long. So we'll just use white chocolate. I think it'll be fine and that the cookies and cream flavor should like override it. And then the other thing is I feel like different people use very different amounts of this. I've seen recipes that use a half tablespoon, a tablespoon, and two tablespoons. Two tablespoons seems like a lot. I think I'm gonna try a half tablespoon and then if I think that it's too icy, I will try to add more next time. Like I don't really know what this does, but everybody uses it. All right, we've got about a half tablespoon here. And that's all I'm gonna put in. I do need to blend it up with my frother. Not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned about how well this is mixed, but I guess we'll see. I have been frothing it for quite some time now. I just don't wanna take it out and like mix it and then have it taste like I didn't mix in the protein powder well enough. But all right, that's gonna be the first recipe, so we'll see. I feel like if you got some Oreos with the mix-in, that could make it even better. But I kind of just want to do the base, but I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. And then the second recipe is going to be even more straightforward and not as much protein. I'm going to be using the Fairlife chocolate milk because I've actually seen multiple people do this base. And I think it should be good. So I'm just going to pour it up to almost the max fill line. And then I'm going to use a Jello sugar-free chocolate. I don't know if I should use a half tablespoon or a full tablespoon in this one, just to, you know, mix it up. I feel like a half tablespoon will be enough. We'll see. Oh, I don't know, should I do? Mm, okay, no, we'll do a full. We'll do a full. I really don't want icy chocolate ice cream. And then we'll see if we can tell a difference between the two. I've also seen people like add cocoa powder, which honestly is very tempting, but I think I'll try this first. I do really like dark chocolate though. These are ready to pop into the fridge. I'm definitely more nervous about this vanilla one now. I hope that it is mixed well enough. I'm not super concerned about the actual calorie breakdown. I just want low calorie ice cream, high protein. Hopefully these will fit the bill. Let's put them in the freezer. It is now two days later because yesterday I was gonna make the Ninja Cream ice cream and then the day just got away from us. We had ice cream at a restaurant, so I was like, we're not doing double ice cream day. But I am now ready. This has been freezing for like 50 hours, so it should definitely be frozen. Also, it is not smooth on the top, and I've seen TikToks about this. I saw somebody say to not put a lid on it, and like that's what causes it, but I really don't know what caused this large lump. But we're gonna be trying the vanilla cookies and cream one today, because my boyfriend is gonna try it with me. So we'll see, I'm very nervous. I've seen several TikToks since I've made this about all the things I've done wrong. So they're like, don't use plant protein. So we'll see, you know, how this turns out, but I'm very excited. So we have this lid and then yeah, you just screw it on and then put it onto the machine. Okay, I just had to click it in with two hands. Now we do ice cream. First spin is very powdery, but this is what always happens. And TikTok says to make a little hole and then pour some milk to make it more creamy. So let's do that. Okay, I think that should be more than enough. We'll see. Three spin. Second spin definitely looking better. I think it could use maybe another respin. 
Honestly, this isn't bad, though. This is, like, way better than the first time. I don't know. What do you think, Chris? I'm down to give it a taste. The texture is better than I expected, but I think that <laughs> it's not a great idea to use protein shakes or protein powder because it just tastes like protein powder. Let me try some. I feel like you're you have a really high expectation of. No, I mean like this. Ice this cream. is this is like it's just like ice cream and protein powder form, <laughs> or protein powder and ice cream form, right? Yeah. It tastes like it tastes like protein powder. Do you think it'd be better if with mix-ins? I think that I would not use protein powder. I mean, I think I would try to make a normal ice cream recipe. Like, I think you can make a really oh, good, wait, wait. like, normal ice cream. I can make the other one, it's just chocolate. But I didn't put protein powder in the other one. Okay, so yeah, I just think this one tastes a lot like the protein shake flavor. So it has that, like, connection to it. Yeah. For me, the texture is good. I don't think this needs a respin. But it has a very, like, you know, if you drink a lot of protein, it has the aftertaste of yeah. protein. But honestly, like, Halo Top kind of has that flavor, too. Yeah, so it, it is, like, not as good as normal ice cream, but I'm not upset with this being the first time. We have a lot of time to improve here. It is now the next night, and we are ready for the next Ninja Creamy. It's already been defrosting for, like, 10 minutes. I did this yesterday as well. I've seen that as a tip to try to like make it creamier, not have it be completely frozen. And the same thing happened with this one. I really don't know how this happens. Like, I don't know what the science is there, but it's interesting nonetheless. And this is just chocolate milk and the sugar-free chocolate jello pudding mix. So I'm excited to try it. We probably ate around a third of the pint yesterday between Chris and I. So we didn't eat that much. The texture was actually really good, but the flavor was not there. It just tasted way too much like protein, but I think that we can work with it. Like hopefully if we add other things into it, it will taste better. And I'm excited to see what this tastes like since there's no protein in it at all. I have high hopes for this. And I think we're also gonna try some mix-ins today, but first we're gonna see how the base turns out. First spin, very powdery again, but I think that's okay. We're gonna add some more chocolate milk. I honestly don't know if I should be doing ice cream again or re-spin, but we'll just try re-spin because it worked last time. This is spin two. It looks really creamy on the top. I'm not sure about the bottom here. The flavor is good. It tastes exactly like a frosty. Like, it's a little icy, so I wonder if I put more sugar-free jello in it, if it would make it creamier or how to make it creamier, but it's not bad. I definitely like this more than yesterday because although the flavor could be a little bit better, you don't taste the protein because there's no protein in this besides like the little bit in the Fairlife milk. But now let's add some mix-ins. I'm going to be using two peanut butter cups. I hope that's enough. I honestly don't know if it will be, and I'm pretty much just going to like put them in the top here. And hopefully with this mix too, it'll make it like a little more creamier. Although I'm not sure if there's anything more that can be done here. I'm thinking two peanut butter cups is not going to be enough, but we'll, we'll start with two and see. Okay, third spin. It's looking a lot creamier on the top now. You can't really see a lot of the chunks. Okay, there's some chunks in here. Let's try. It is good with the peanut butter chunks. Some of the chunks are quite big though. So, take that with what you will. I think this is one chunk. But this is good. I would make it again. Maybe next time I try to add cocoa powder. I see some people do that to get like darker chocolate. I do like really like rich dark chocolate. So I might try that, but this is a solid recipe. Would repeat compared to yesterday's. It is now the next day and I'm gonna try to spruce up this cookies and cream ice cream that wasn't that good the first time. I'm gonna go and try to make it like a smoothie bowl kind of. 
although it is going to mostly be this base, I definitely need to re-spin it. So that's one thing if you don't finish the pint. I know a lot of people, it seems like they just eat the pint all at once, but I don't want to eat that much ice cream. So just keep in mind, you have to like keep it in the container so you can re-spin it because this is completely frozen. So first I'm going to re-spin it. And then I think I'm going to try to add some peanut butter to spruce it up. First spin, very crumbly, gonna add some milk and some peanut butter. I'm hoping the peanut butter will just give it a little more flavor and cover the cookies and cream protein flavor a little bit, but we'll see. Time for a respin. Second spin, looking good. Let's do a taste test. You can still taste the protein flavor, but way less. The peanut butter does a pretty good job of covering it up. And I'm gonna add a banana and some granola to make it more of a smoothie bowl. I wish I had like strawberries, but I don't. So this is what we're working with. And this is the final product. I'm not gonna mix these in or have them be a mix in. They're just more of a topper. This is a lot better though than the first time I made it. I think I could add some cinnamon too and make it taste good. I finished my first Ninja Creamy pint and yeah, it was pretty good as a smoothie base. I wouldn't really consider it ice cream tasting, but that one had like a ton of protein in it. So I'm gonna try a few new things. Essentially, I think that you can rely on the protein powder for some flavor, but you don't only want to rely on the protein powder because then it's just gonna taste like a protein shake. So I'm just going to try to make a good vanilla base and then have mix-ins kind of be the extra flavor. And I'm gonna put less protein in it this time and see what happens. So we got our Ninja Creamy Pint. And I'm also gonna leave more room. I filled it up pretty close to the max fill line last time. And I think that overflowed it. So I'm only gonna fill it up to like, I don't know, an inch below the max fill line so that there's more room. So that was fat-free Fairlife milk. I've also seen a lot of people use 2% Fairlife milk. So maybe I'll try that in the future too to try to make it a little more creamy. And then for protein, we're just going to use Orgain vanilla protein powder. I used cookies and cream last time. I think the vanilla is a more mild flavor and a serving is two scoops, but I'm just gonna do one scoop. So like obviously less protein, but I'm also hoping less of that protein flavor. And it's still an extra 10 grams of protein. So still a little nice addition. Then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of the vanilla sugar-free fat-free jello pudding mix. Cause I really feel like that made it creamy. So we'll toss that in there. And then I was also thinking that I would just put a splash of vanilla extract in it to try to make it more vanilla-y. I'm interested to see if I think that this is a good idea once I spin it up, but I'm worried that it will still taste like protein too much. So I'm hoping that this kind of drowns it out. So just a little splash. And then finally, this is kind of a curveball, but I have this English toffee stevia that I got to make Emma Chamberlain Erewhon smoothies. And I figured I would just pop a few drops. It kind of goes off the vanilla flavor, but I think if I don't put too much, maybe I'll just sweeten it like a bit. Put five drops because I'm worried this won't be sweet enough, but we'll see. This is just a very random recipe. So we're gonna blend this all up and then pop it in the freezer. It's now a couple days later and we are ready to try my second attempt, first attempt at vanilla. I don't know. I don't know if you'd really consider this vanilla either since it has some toffee stevia in it, but I am very excited to try. I did finish the chocolate and peanut butter cup ice cream. I didn't film myself trying it because it tasted like all the other times that I did it. I just do what I do every single time that I use the Ninja Creamy. I do ice cream spin, put a little milk, and then re-spin it. And a couple things to note is when you don't eat this all and you have leftover, first off, if you have mix-ins, the mix-ins gets pulverized the second time because 
obviously it's a very intense like mixing process it's frozen solid and yeah you're not gonna be able to like get chunks of any more peanut butter cups which was fine i could still kind of taste it and it wasn't like bad but if you like mix-ins you essentially need to eat the entire pint the first time that you use the mix-ins and that's not that realistic for me unless it maybe chris also helps me but we don't typically eat that much ice cream so something to keep in mind. Also on the respins, I feel like it did get icier and it's icier at the bottom, probably because when I put the milk in, it doesn't like reach the bottom. So just some iciness around the bottom when I was eating it, which is not a big deal. And I realize I've never commented on the loudness of this machine and how long it runs. I would say each spin runs about two minutes, which I don't think is that big of a deal, but it is something to keep in mind that when you want to make the ice cream. First off, I try to leave this out for like 10 minutes and then it probably takes another 10 minutes to spin, pour some milk in, re-spin, and then eat. So something to keep in mind. And then finally, the loudness actually doesn't bother me. I saw a lot of people saying like, oh, it's so loud. And then a bunch of other people saying like, oh, it's like not that loud. I think that it's about as loud as our Vitamix. So it's loud, like it's a blender, but it's not like, oh my gosh, my ears are bleeding loud, in my opinion. While I am waiting for this to defrost a little bit more, I actually figured I would make one more recipe for this video. And this one I'm very nervous about because I saw it before I even got the Ninja Creamy and I was like, that sounds great. It's literally just a can of peaches. It is the Del Monte. They specifically said this brand and it sliced peaches in 100% juice, which I'm hoping this is like the key because I saw someone saying like, make this as a sorbet, you'll love it. I love peach flavored things. I love peaches. I could just eat this can of peaches and have a good time. So I was like, oh, I would love this in sorbet form. So I went out, bought the can of peaches, and then I saw a TikTok a day later that was a different person saying this was absolutely gross and does not taste like peach sorbet. So I'm here to test it out. I figure, you know, it's only one ingredient, so pretty low risk. I'm just gonna open her up. And then I'm literally gonna pour everything in, including all of the juice. Wow, that actually filled up more than I thought it would. All right, cool. Recipe number four, we'll see. I'm very curious what this will taste like. I mean, it should just taste like peaches. And now I'm ready to spin this ice cream. I'm honestly feeling no mix-ins tonight. I don't know what would be a good mix-in for this anyways. We'll see once I try it, maybe something will come to me, but I'm feeling just kind of a nice soft serve ice cream kind of night. You see that we have the nice hump again. So let's pop her in and make some ice cream. I'm gonna try light ice cream tonight. Pretty powdery. I feel like light ice cream, it ran longer, but I don't know if that's just in my head. Gonna add some milk now and do a respin. Okay, this is actually kind of interesting. This is the most ice cream texture. Like it's less soft serve and more like actual ice cream. I don't know if that's from spinning it on light ice cream or what, but that's interesting. So let's try it. The texture is good, but it has almost no flavor. And you can definitely taste the protein flavor aftertaste still. It's not as bad as the first time, but this is not very good. I need to add something to it. I actually have this salted caramel sauce that's for ice cream. I wonder if I should just put it on top or if I should mix it in. I'm just gonna try a little bit on top and see if that makes it taste better. But this recipe is a flop. I would not make again. It does taste a lot better with the salted caramel sauce on top, but that's kind of to be expected. It is good. That did save it. But I would not make this face again. I don't know if I should be not using plant protein. I'm guessing that that's the problem or that I need a better tasting plant protein. But I honestly really like the Orgain plant protein in smoothies. Like it doesn't bother me. I don't feel like the protein taste is super strong. But I don't know if the fruit is just really strong. So I don't taste the protein. 
but I can't really use whey protein. Otherwise, I'll definitely break out. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know because we're kind of at an impasse here. Like this isn't bad, but I was hoping to make healthier ice cream than just to put like toppings and mixins in it to make it taste better. But let me know if you do any plant protein recipes and if so, what they are. I would be very, very curious, but I'm gonna eat a little more of this and then I will see you tomorrow when I mix up the peach one, which should definitely not taste like protein. It is now the next day and it's time to try the peach sorbet. It has been 24 hours. It's been just frosting for about five minutes and I'm too excited. We're just gonna put this right on into the Ninja Creamy. Pretty basic top. Hopefully the peaches sticking out are fine. Okay, sorbet. First spin is very crumbly like normal. We got some good texture up at the top, but I don't know what liquid to add to this. I've seen coconut water, but I'm just gonna try to respin with no liquid and see what happens. Okay, second spin texture looks a lot better. Very sorbet-y, so let's give it a taste test. The texture is amazing. It's so smooth and creamy. I feel like some sorbets I get aren't creamy and I'm surprised this one is considering there's no like dairy in it, but it tastes so good. It does taste like if you took peaches and froze them and mixed them. I think that actual peach sorbet probably has even more sugar than this. But it is pretty sweet because peaches and peach juice is sweet. If you like peaches, like I love peaches, so I think this is delicious. This is 100% for you. I definitely am going to try some of the other fruits. I've seen people do like pineapple and mango because I think this might be where my low calorie dessert lays. I like this a lot more than the protein ice creams I was making. There is a little bit of ice. I don't know if I can display it properly around the sides, but the creamy part is very creamy. And you're just eating fruit, so, you know, how could you be upset about eating the whole pint? I could eat the whole pint of this. I get it now. I'm very happy with the results. So that is the last recipe I'm going to make in this video. I have mixed feelings about the Ninja Creamy. I saw so much marketing beforehand and I kind of did know like it's too good to be true that the protein ice cream cannot taste as good as normal ice cream, which I still agree with. But I think if I keep editing my base ice cream, I can definitely get it to compete against other low calorie ice creams on the market like Halo Top, even now, I'm totally fine eating a pint that I make versus Halo Top because I think Halo Top also has that artificial flavor. And it is low calorie ice cream. Obviously, it's not going to taste good as full fat ice cream. But I do think it's nice, especially during the summer, to just be able to whip up these ice creams. I think the drawbacks of the machine are planning out what you're going to have 24 hours ahead of time. I feel like I don't really know what I'll be craving. I can't have a bet that I'll probably always be down for chocolate. So I'll probably always store like one chocolate and then one fruit one in my fridge. Definitely think that the fruit sorbets are not talked about enough. I don't know if people just don't like fruit sorbets. I'm not a huge sorbet person, but this does taste so so good like i'm gonna eat a lot of this after the video is over so i'm not totally disappointed with the machine i will continue to use it but i feel like i see a lot of media that's like i use this every single night and i don't think that will ever be me i do enjoy ice cream i eat it probably two times a week and going forward i probably will continue to eat it two times a week i don't see myself bumping up and eating ice cream every single day Another drawback is that it takes time. You gotta defrost the pint and then you gotta put it in the machine. You gotta do respins. You also have to like source all of these random ingredients like the sugar-free pudding, the Fairlife milk. At least for me, I usually go to Trader Joe's. So I had to go to like different grocery stores to get these different things. 
But overall, I still think it's a good machine. I think it's fun to get, but it's definitely not something that you absolutely need. We have a lot of appliances, so every appliance we get, it has to be like very, very high yield. And I feel like the Ninja Creamy is kind of right on the line for us. So we'll see. I am a little worried about winter time as well. I feel like I don't want ice cream as much when it's freezing cold outside. So we'll see. I would give the machine like a seven out of 10 right now. But if you have recipes I should try out, please let me know, especially if you found some hack with plant protein. I would be so curious. I'd love to crack the protein ice cream code. But for now, I think I am a sorbet girly. That is it for this video. I hope you guys are staying safe, having an awesome week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!